All right, all right, all right. So I'm going live. I had this weird dream the other night about a raven and it wasn't really like the raven wasn't really doing anything it was just an image of a raven and I'm not sure why could be a few things I just did recently like a raven tattoo tribal design on somebody's head recently um and I've been watching a lot of the show vikings not sure but anyways, um, yeah, so this picture, this image has been stuck in my head for a while and for some reason I feel like I need to paint it. So we're kind of doing maybe like a Norse theme, uh, tribal raven-esque thing. I did, I was curious, I went out there to find images and, and references for ravens and face painting and body painting ravens and there wasn't a whole lot so um, hopefully I don't completely massacre this entire design. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my kabuki brush for my face painting and then the, the image that I had uh, stuck in my head, it was all black and white. It was a white background with a black raven. And that's what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna just do it. I love using the Kabuki brush. And I'm not sure if I'll be bringing the design down onto my chest as much as I love not painting my chest. It's hard, dude. That is just freaking hard to do. Uh, it's hard to do on yourself anyways. And uh, when you have some messed up hands and tendons and everything else on top of it, it's just, it's really not fun. And it irritates the snot that I can't get angles right. And so... I don't know, for time's sake, who knows, right? We'll see how this goes. And I don't have my old lady glasses on and I see a bunch of people are watching. So hello, 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 everybody. Um, so if I don't, don't get to your comments right away, please don't kill me. Uh, I don't know, do I, I kind of, I want to do, maybe I'll just put a touch on the ears, we'll see. I think for the final look, when I take uh, the picture, that I will have some of my like tribal earrings, ear cuff stuff on there that got something that might go well. I'm bring that up. Got my little poof on my head. I had it in these rolls uh, earlier and I'm like, oh, I can't have these nasty rolls on camera. So I went ahead and just kind of unrolled my hair and threw it up in a poof. So got this poof going on. I don't know if I want to go straight black. See, that's what's killing me about this. All right, I don't know, we'll see. Let's go straight black. Might throw some highlights on it. And I could totally F this up too because I just painted my face all white and now I don't have any guidelines. I don't know where the hell I'm going on this. Okay, whatever, it's too late now, we're in it. I have a reference photo over here of like this raven flying that I'm looking at my laptop as I'm doing this. And uh, I think right here would be a great transition of where the wing kind of like cuts up like he's flying mid flight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that as a guide and maybe even bring that down on the nose here to really hide that. And I can't get too crazy big with this because my face is only so wide. I mean, I could only eat so many burritos in a day. So. Yeah. Sure, why not? And right at my eyebrows, I'm gonna start cutting it over. Oh 
make it go up like that. It's not really even. But do I really care at this point? Not really. I'm surprised my OCD is not caring that much. And then if I follow where the wings are on this bird, let's see here. Looks like they come down just a little bit, a little tad. Like I'm making some evil clown eyes. How about that? Yeah, sure. Not really. It's weird. I'm going to come out a little bit more. And I can always add detail, uh, the ends of the feathers. I just want to get a rough outline. Mm. I think maybe here is where they're going to stop. That halfway point. Sure, why not? And bring that down there. I mean, I could have gone the extra mile and like looked up wing anatomy if I really wanted to, but I really didn't because that's effort, you guys. And I'm like probably one of the laziest people ever in the world. So. And actually that works out perfectly because then I can bring this down. See, there's a method to sometimes my madness. Ooh. My. What big wings you have. All right. And then it does like this little hoopy thingy. Like I've got, you know, just following the natural bags under my eyes. It's all about working with what you got, right? Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? Look, guys, I'm in my 40s, okay? And I am starting to get like the mega crow's feet wrinkles. And I told myself the other day in the mirror, I said, self, that's because you are laughing way too much and having a good time with your life. But then my makeup side was like, oh, honey, we got work to do now. All right. So from there, this, the body, the head is, the raven has a little head because it's a little raven. And I'm not. I'd like to give, I don't want to do it too detailed. I don't want to be like, ooh, look at this pretty bird. Um, I want it to be very black and white stark. So um, I'll throw in some, my plan is to throw in some of my blue highlights on top of the black, uh, but I kind of want to map out where that head's going to be so I know exactly where I'm going to throw those highlights at. So, uh, and then he's kind of got like, He's got like a potato body when they're flying like this. They got like a little potato body. Yeah. So let's get his little potato body on here. Which actually, as I look dead on in my mirror with this, I'm like, oh, look, it just hides my big old nose. Okay, see, there's a reason why sometimes designs are thrown at me and that is because I feel like this is hiding the bags and the wrinkles and my big fat nose yeah I'm not mad I'm not angry not at all although I think I made potato body too big but that's okay um Kind of got like this fan. Reminds me of Pokemon. I don't know why it reminds me of Pokemon. It just does.
this is probably like ridiculously not proportionate to the wings. I need to take a step back and Ah, my picture went away. Okay, there it is. Sorry. Freaked out. My laptop turned off. And my picture, like, went out from view. And it's, like, my fear that I'm not going to have this totally cool raven picture over here that I'm, like, looking at. Really pretty. I just Googled, like, raven flying towards me. Very mysterious, you know? Of course, that's going to be a little, a little hump, boop, 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 little boops. And now I can finish bringing the wing down here. So we got another little boop, another little boop. I sound like I'm painting, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I sound like I'm painting like one of the, the three-year-olds that sits in my chair. And you got to try to entertain them and hold their interest so that they don't move. So you can paint this ridiculously elaborate face paint on them because their parent requested it. Not because the kid wants it, but because the parent wants it. So you, of course, want their money. So you take it, right? And then you start painting somebody and then... Uh, it's a three-year-old and you're like, you've got like this, I don't know, what would be a seven minute design. You've got to try to miraculously do it in 30 seconds. I make all these weird noises and I go, <gasps> and it just holds their attention. That's how I swear to God, I get them to sit still, but I sound like such an idiot. And I just sounded like that just now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fill this bugger in. I'm not going to do it with my liner brush. Though. That would take too flippin' long. Okay. Well, Bobby Joe, how are you going to get in details? I told you, it's not going to be detailed. I just had something in my mind that I felt like I had to get out uh, of my mind and put on my face. So I'm painting happy ravens. And then, of course, you guys are probably all going to go out there and Google, like I did, what do dreams of ravens mean? And it's like all this bad bullshit. And the funny thing is, as I did not get any ominous feelings or like felt anything bad or negative when I had the dream, in fact, it was just like, I must paint you. So, you know, thank God I'm a painter because you know what? What if I was just like, I don't know, theoretically, hypothetically speaking, a serial killer. And I just like had a dream, you know, about killing somebody. I was like, oh, I feel like I must kill you now. That would be. So thank God I'm a painter. And I just have weird dreams that I have to paint on my face. Now watch, I'm gonna be on the CIA watch list because I put that on Facebook Live, whatever. I'm gonna take down this video. She said she's gonna kill somebody. I did not say that, people. I think it sometimes. I will be quite honest with you. I think it. Mostly, I think about maiming people, not killing. Just maiming. Whatever. It's not going to be perfect for now. Oh. Uh, this is when my OCD kicks in. Really? I feel like it needs to be less, less boopy there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Look, I kind of look like Kiss. Not bad. Again. Mm. 
and get his little potato body, his little raven potato body. I know I said this before, um, but It's popped into my head recently. Like, so, you know, I'm very random and my mind, I'm very flighty. Absolutely. Thinking a million things all at once. And uh, for some reason, Alice in Wonderland painting the roses red just popped in my head. It does that a lot when I'm painting. I don't know why. Probably because it has the word painting in it. It's weird. I know I left that spot on my nose where the head's going to be. I don't want to completely exit or like cut out all that because I want to remember where that's going to be. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of skin. It's going to be a, a scantily clad raven. Just a little bit of skin showing. So I remember where that head is. Yeah, I think feet will be like would be like boop boop, like my nose shape is perfect for it. Uh, can you see the shine, dude? Someone needs to make that a GIF. Like, I'll just send that to somebody. My weirdness never ends, people. Maybe I'll make a whole video where I whisper in it. That's impossible. I won't be able to do that. I need to quit fussing. I don't know why I just turned that into upside down tea. It's all like Bob Ross happy little mistakes, right? So, all right. I'm looking stupid because I want to read what everybody's saying. We got lots of people watching. All right. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What's up, Thomas? You always catch the videos in November, you too. Oh my gosh, I hate deals with out of us. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. I'm not going to have the CIA or anybody banging on my door. That's fantastic. All right, thank you, Katie. And then Kristen Ware. Oh my God, I have not seen and heard from you in forever. I hope everything is going well with you. We got a great friend, Aisha, who's also watching. So thank you guys. So for anybody who uh, just tuned in, I'm doing like some weird tribal ass something. I don't know, I had a dream about a raven, okay? And it was this raven that uh, I just felt like I needed a paint on my face. So that's the theme. I thought, oh, let's do, I don't know, something 
Vikingish, tribal, Norse. Mostly because I've probably been watching that show Vikings way too much. It's good though. It's a nice change. It's like, you know, like, oh, Game of Thrones is coming on. Not anymore. So now it's Vikings. That is so not even. Oh my God. Really? What if I just do an X? Nah. Nah, fam. I can't do it just an X. Oh, that's going to put the snot out of me. Ooh. Why? Oh, and that's why. That's why I was really dreading doing the white down and the black and then did, uh, really. Yeah. Yeah. That really happened. Oh, can I cover it up now? We'll see. Thank you for everybody who, uh, doesn't mind my ridiculous impromptu videos that mean absolutely nothing. Other than the fact that, um... I have no friends and uh, I'm at home bored, so that's what these videos mean. Okay. Better! This is sucky right here, but. So that doesn't look as terrible. Okay. Still looks terrible, just not as. Let's see here. Let's start adding some uh, texture to the wings here, the feathers, adding them on. Uh, let's see here. Are they looking wingy? Can you tell my wings are wings? What did you paint today? A rainbow. What did you paint today? A unicorn. And what did you paint today? The Raven of Death. I don't know if it was a Raven of Death. I don't know. Supposedly, right? Supposedly. 
So there's a lot of dream stuff out there. Books about dreams, and you can Google bullshit about dream. Oh, I said the S word, sorry. Bullpucky about dreams. And uh, there's a lot of stuff out there saying that dreaming of ravens is not so good. We'll see, won't we? I'll keep you guys updated on the misfortunes of my life. But you know, if uh, anything bad happens. hell is going on with my wing over here I don't know what I was thinking I don't know it's art interpreted as art that's what bad artists like me do when we can't draw real things it's abstract. Yeah, it's abstract because my ass can't peel the paint the real thing. That's why. Right, Scotty? Am I right? See, I told you. It was a little kiss feeling, right? Dude, I'm going to be the fifth kiss member. This is going to be my makeup. Mm -hmm. Sorry, as I fuel my uh, Coke addiction. Addiction. I said addition. Like I'm adding Coke. Lord have mercy. Oh, what would I play if I was in a kiss band? I can't play anything. I can, I, I used, used to be able to play like the flute and stuff, but I can't play that. I can't play instruments a whole lot anymore because of how messed up my arms are. So, um, so I'd have to be like a backup singer or something. Like maybe I can be in the back playing a tambourine or some stupid crap. I will give the world all the more cowbell that they want. Let me see here. Mm. I kind of want to take the line maybe right here. Ooh, I messed that one up. Second black line makeup mess. Yay! I knew this was going to happen. I dreamt about this thing several nights ago, and I've been meaning to actually paint it, but this was my fear right here of making all the mess ups in the world. All right. So I'm trying to like do it maybe even with his body instead of bringing it down to his head. I Because I wanted to go like straight across my face here, but it wasn't so hot about where that focal point would wind up. So I changed my mind and I'm going to go across my eyes. Oh, hell, that's a little better. Still not perfect, but... Why do I always get the sniffles when I face paint myself? I snort paint. 
go right along with my Coke addiction. All right. I think that's probably all the line work I really want to do with my face. Uh, do I want to do one across here? Okay, quick poll. There are, I don't know how many people watching now because I don't have my granny eyes on. I will put my glasses on here in a second. So, do I want to do an extra line here? Hmm? Hmm? See what, well look, imagine that was black, right? With, without. With, without. I think with, but I really can't decide. So I'm gonna make this interactive. Tell me, with or without? Oh, oh hi Cindy, how's it going? Cindy Nelson is watching. And she says I look awesome. Ooh, does that look weird for you? That looks weird for me when I do that. Okay, so while you guys answer my question in my little poll here, with, without, with, without. I'm gonna go ahead and start working more on these fabulous little feather things that we've got going on here. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit more me. I love cracks and squiggles and wiggles and not perfect things and you know that song, uh, these are a few of my favorite things? Those are a few of my favorite things. Really weird cracks and squiggles and stuff. Ooh, I took that in my hairline. I really hate going into my hairline because then it just like doesn't look good. It doesn't give me a good like straight line. All right, got any, we got Cindy Nelson says with, Leo Castor says with, November says with. All right, the widths have it. Nobody else is responding, so. Or if they are, it's just taking a million years to get to me, but widths have it. So to avoid messing up like ridiculously, Oh, how am I going to do this? I can't get the angles. It's all about the angles, lady. Boom. That was a one hell of a nice shot. I don't know what it is.
Sorry, as you like. God, I'm such an idiot when I do that. All right. So now that I've got my Kiss Raven going on, right? I'm just gonna make them just a little bit more interesting here. Birds don't have feathers that do that. Just so that you know. In case somebody gets my feather on my video and they like stumble across it and like, birds don't have feathers that do that. Don't care. It looks cool. In my mind, it looks cool. In my own personal Bobby Joe world, it looks cool. So there. <gasps> my picture disappeared. Where'd my picture go? Oh no, Mr. Bear. Wait, where'd you go? Hey, uh, there you are. Yay. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Yeah. See them flying is just so cool. I think birds in flight, birds in general are cool. I know some people who are bird watchers and it's like, wow, they take these magnificent pictures. I love birds. I love, it's like one of my favorite sounds listening in the spring when they all start to come back and they like chirp and keep you awake all morning long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite things in the world. So now I'm going to do some Yeah, that looks kind of fun. All right, so now from here, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna have to, oh, it's gonna be terrible. I hate this. I hate getting paint all over me and all over everything, but you know, it's for a good cause, I suppose. I'm just going, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking this flat brush that I have and I'm just dipping, really saturating the end of that with some water in my water uh, uh, cup over here that I have. And I'm just tapping it into the black paint because I'm trying to create a little well because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a splatter effect on my face. So, oh my God, I'm going to Hail Mary myself kind of, sort of, with the paint on this brush. You ready? This is how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna rub like from front to back, and the force of the uh, bristles coming back into place will hopefully, hopefully fling some black spots on my face. So let's try this.
Ooh, it did. Do you see what I'm getting? Do you see that? Oh, I love that spot right there. Yeah. For some reason, I, really want, I just want to scream, that's so metal! No, it's not metal. The hard part about this, doing this on yourself, holy mother of frick. You can't see where the hell I'm going. All right, I mean, I could, but then I'd probably get paint in my eye. Oh, that was stupid as hell, Bobby Joe. Why the hell did you do that? Oh my God. Oh, this is such a terrible idea. Ooh. All right, I think I got enough. <laughs> I got it like every I really got it everywhere. This is gonna be fun to mop up later. Oh my god. Scotty, you know what? This channel is so freaking is real. It's so real. Oh my god, what did Kristen say? Maybe try flicking towards you, maybe? I know, right? Doing it, you know what? We do it so, this sounds very sexual. I am uh, sorry for my 12 year old boy humor. Um, we do crazy things to our clients every day. One of them being flicking blood or blood spa splatter or whatever, for, either for the haunt or for a moulage reasons, you know. And we torture our people. And we don't care. You know why? Because we're doing it to you. We're not doing it to us. So it's, so <laughs> in one sense, I'm like really thankful that people come so committed <laughs> to these places and events because we really do, I mean, we do anything we want to you and you're all for it. <laughs> and I am so thankful there are people out there. But when I do it to myself, it's <sighs> I'm too much of a clean freak perfectionist that it like literally bugs the shit out of me. So anyways, okay. So getting back to the video, I, um, I wanted to throw in some blue because I didn't want it to just be like this, this, okay. Um, so let's do, I don't know if I want to do face paint or if I want to do shadow. I probably want to do face paint. So let's do, we're going to do the blue now and um, we'll go ahead and add the highlights in those certain areas that I wanted to add to. And um, also maybe outline just a teeny tiny bit with the blue. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry, I won't back in. I won't be silly for a second here. You see where I went with the blue? And the blue I'm doing is, um, it's a metallic blue. And I have no idea where I, I want to say, oh my God, where did I get this metallic blue? 
I got it when I went to the convention. Um, uh, uh, Capital Kid, Capital Convention, but like for East Coast. Um, and I have no idea what brand this is. So I'm not going over every single feather in detail. I just want enough highlight in there so that you go, oh, I kind of see, I kind of see something. I think I see an image in that, right? I think I see something in that. Uh, fade out that little spot was like too heavy on the blue I like using this metallic blue and this metallic purple when I do mask designs that have um, a black base or a black background uh, when I'm doing my face painting makeup stuff not for the haunt because you're not going to see it in the haunt. But I like throwing that on there as a, a highlight instead of using white for all the face painters out there. As long as you let the black dry all the way, that's too heavy right there. I'm just gonna flick everybody off and inconspicuously and tap it out. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I used my middle finger for that. And maybe I shouldn't for videos, who knows. Two little, two little spots to where his little feety feet would be. There, a little bit right there where his little beady eyes would be. Right there for a. Whittle nose and a whittle little waving nose. Whittle wavens. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> We're here for you. Good, because I need friends. All right. 
I think I'm gonna do keep when I do the blue on the lines I'm gonna keep the blue on the top as a highlight feel like clownish with this on. I don't know why. It doesn't feel clowny to me. There we go. Now, this outlining. Outlining my lippy poos. I don't know why. And you like that, and maybe look at my kissers, yeah. All right, from here, we take some shadow. And if you haven't watched one of my videos before, it's just shitty shadow, really. There's no brand that I recommend. Just buy some really crap cheap stuff because I'm not trying to have like this glorious beat face. I'm just trying to shade a little bit, okay? I don't need $50 eyeshadow to do that. No, I need dollar store eyeshadow, okay?
I'm going to go around the entire design here with the shadow. Cover up some of them, some of them little gray hairs I got going on there. Yay! Now, because I'm including my ears in this, I'm not gonna take it all the way down in that area. I don't know, something in me is saying, keep that spot open. I can't quite say it, say why. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like some scratching and and whatnot happening in the background. And my cat is really mad at me because I won't let him in here while I'm doing the video. Because if not, he would be laying across like my makeup or my lap or something. And just be the cutest damn cat you've ever seen in your life. And then I won't get anything done. So he's mad at me because he's on the other side of the door. All right.
And from here, I know something is saying tie it in down here. So let's do. Because why not? Right? I mean, I've already like splattered my entire dining room in here full of black paint. Why not? Sorry, I had to crack my neck. I don't know what this, I'm probably gonna screw this up, but I did the black shadow on uh, the bottom and I kinda wanna hit the top with a blue shadow, so the least place I can think I would mess this up is maybe up here. So let me just see what this looks like. Hair. <sighs> okay. That is everything that I have done to my face so far. I have done worse things. Oh, yes. Maybe not all of the blue lines. Maybe in just these certain spots to kind of like tone it down just a hunch. Just a hunch. Here we go. Is anybody watching have snow right now? Oh my God. That is a, uh, actually a curse word in my house. You can't say the four letter S word.
All right, there's that. I feel like it's just too stark over here. So if I do do this shade thing, maybe that's why something inside of me was saying, don't, don't do all black down there. Yeah, I like that. Kind of cuts in the little cheekbone area. Sure, why not? Let's do that on the other side. I just hear, hear the wind howling behind me, the windows behind me. Yeah, I like that much better. Less white. Ugh, Leo, I'm so sorry you live in Michigan because snow. Oh. And Marine, you too. Definitely stay warm as well. It's going to be hard for us the next couple days, isn't it? And it's not just us, because I'm in Ohio. I mean, a lot of people all over the states are going to get hit by this nasty cold front that's coming in, so... I almost want to, I don't want to darken that, but oh yes, oh yeah, adding the blue right there. Do a little bit of that blue shadow right here. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool, I have a raven face. You see my raven face? I have a raven face, everybody. All right, I'm gonna go, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with just the teeniest bit of white. The teeniest, and I'm watering it down like you cannot believe. Cause I mean teeniest. Oh, thankfully, Leo. Okay, good. You're just visiting. Good. I feel bad for anybody who lives north of Ohio because 
or even within the same, you know. I hate the cold. That's what I'm saying. I really hate the cold. All right. So for this, I want to go just touch, just touch the outline of that. Just to give a teeny bit of indication, breaking it up from the crazy pattern that I've got going on on my face right now. It's kind of like splattered and drips and everything everywhere and it needs something, needed something to catch the eye to help outline the shape that isn't really a... A, a, a direct straight line shape so just a little teeny bit on it Oh my god, Maureen, why do you have to give me bad news like that? Uh, I don't want... I don't want... No! People are like, it looks so pretty! No, it does not. I like fall leaves more than I like snow.
I think we are done. I think I'm going to call it. The only other thing I could think that I would do is maybe go in and add just a touch of highlight on some of the drips, but I'm afraid at this point of just doing too much. I've already, I think I've done way too much already, but I don't know. There's been some of my makeup looks that I've done in the past where I'm like, oh, really? Really, I'm just not happy about it and people get so stoked about it and Like for instance that like that pop art zombie uh, Comic book zombie reference thing that I did I was not I don't know impressed with myself and A lot of people liked it. So who knows? I don't know the point is the point is is that um, As I said, I have no friends <laughs> And no life. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> and so I'm here painting. <sighs> painting my face. What pops in my head is dreams. A raven. Why not? A raven themed face paint. Raven themed makeup. I'm just cleaning my brushes as I gaggle to you guys. But anyways, the point is, is to have fun and to try something new. And to be crazy and spontaneous because sometimes the best makeups happen because you're crazy and spontaneous. You have a crazy idea or you dreamt it or um, something out there gave you inspiration. And um, yeah, so that's all I can say to you is just go out there, find what you love and get into it um, and have freaking fun with it. If you don't have fun with these things, you guys. And, um, this is my expensive makeup, by the way. I love it. My liner is fabulous. And I'm just doing this because I'm going to take pictures and I want, I want it to look awesome. And it will look awesome if I line my eyes and do my waterline. Yes. And as you can see, my lids, they got light because I'm sitting here doing a video and talking and I have to, of course, see what the heck I'm doing. So I'm just going to go over it just a little bit with some shadow here. Before I leave you guys, have fun with it. I want to see what people do. I want to see the makeup looks that you come up with. I'm seeing a lot more videos online and I love watching them. I love seeing people go live and uh, I like to go back and watch your videos even if I can't catch it live. I love watching. Um, I have a lot to learn, I know. I am by far no great painter, I will tell you. I will be the first to tell you. But I love doing it, and I don't let that or anybody else stop me from doing something that I truly enjoy um, and that sometimes brings joy to other people. So. Have fun with everything that you're doing. Keep up all the great work, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and uh, showing me that I really do have some awesome friends out there. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed this look. I'm going to be posting uh, some pictures here in a second. So um, I might do some tooth paint. That might look really cool, like with the demon, because this is all like the demon colors. It's just the white, blue, and black. So... Uh, maybe do some uh, blue food coloring in the mouth and take some pictures with that. Who knows? Uh, and get my cool earrings in, my raven earrings that I've got. So we'll do that and take a couple pictures. And thank you for joining me tonight, like I said. And uh, happy haunting, happy scaring, everybody. <laughs>